Hello Church, we're looking at Deuteronomy chapter 1 and 2 today for our daily Bible reading. Word of the day is discouraged. Now, Deuteronomy means second law. Now, it's not the second version of the law. It is just Moses retelling the law that he previously gave to an earlier generation to this generation of people who are about to enter the land of Israel, the Holy Land. Moses knows he's not able to go and see that part of the journey uh, because of his sin. God has um, pulled him back and has not allowed him to move forward. But Moses is now going to do a kind of recap of how did we get here and then what do you need to do moving forward? As we're reading the book of Deuteronomy, you're going to hear, once again, references to the past, but also references to the future and references to the present. Moses is going to remind this generation that today is a day you need to choose to obey God. But let's get back to our word of the day. Discouraged. That is how the people of Israel felt. God took them out of Egypt. They were supposed to go into the Holy Land and conquer it, yet they were discouraged by what they saw there. They didn't see all the good. They didn't see all the blessing. They didn't remember God's provision in Egypt. They saw some large enemies, some large fortified cities, and became discouraged. They didn't think they could do it. And so they moped and griped and complained and told God, no, we're not going to listen to you. That resulted in a 40-year pause for that generation to die off before this generation can now have a chance to go into the land. And it's interesting here into chapter 2, we read about the people of Israel walking through different lands. And it's interesting that they are told that as they go through this land of Moab and of Ammon, that those people had to deal with some giants themselves, but God gave them the victory. I think God is reinforcing here with this final journey is, look, you were scared to, to go and conquer this land, and so you walked around for 40 years. Now, before you go to do it again, I'm going to have you pass through lands that have overcome similar obstacles. And so you can see that they're still there because God is with them. God is trying to use these examples from other people's lives to help the people of Israel to be faithful to the future that they are about to enter. And that's kind of like when we read the Bible. We can come with our discouragement, with our focus on ourselves, but as we read as people's past successes or people in the Bible's failures, we can be encouraged by how God works through those situations and we can overcome. So don't be discouraged, church. Take our time as you read through the Bible as an encouragement to trust in God. All right, church, have a great day.